if you are correct about the hazard here, uh, my guess, I think, as you have already said, is that there's no stopping this campaign that is in some sense politically inconceivable that people would change course even if it made perfect sense for them to do so. And so the criteria you suggest might tell us that uh, your model is correct. Um, standard hypothetical deductive science, you've put out a hypothesis. Here are the characteristics that you would expect to indicate that it's right. If it turns out it's right, what do we do next? Do you have a sense? Well, do you mean in terms of to remedy the situation? Uh, I mean, my point is, uh, you know, the best thing that can happen to somebody is to, to, to be a zero negative, right? Because if you're zero negative, certainly, certainly, if you are in good health and you're zero negative, you have good uh, natural antibodies. Again, this is no fantasy. There are studies, scientific studies, where even natural antibodies are defined or are used as a benchmark for good health, right? So if you're zero negative, you, you don't suffer from any antibodies that could block your natural antibodies, and you can be fully exposed. I mean, of course, the problem is going to be the more you vaccinate people, the more people are going to be sitting on long-lived long antibodies, right? And even if those antibodies decline and they get re-exposed to the virus, I mean, these antibodies will be immediately recalled. You were pointing out, you were educating people on what is memory and how antibodies get recalled upon re-exposure, right? So then you have, of course, uh, well, being zero negative is not going to be easy. And I tell you why, because if we, if we continue to breed these highly infectious variants, the likelihood for somebody who is zero negative to become infected is, is going to become higher and higher, of course. So at the end of the day, you can turn it the way you want. For me, there is only one solution at this point in time, maybe not at the beginning where there was the wild, uh, just the wild say, but at this point in time, there is no other solution but, but to intervene. And for me, the, the, the only intervention that makes sense is really to eradicate those, uh, those variant strains. Because nobody is telling us how we are ever going to get rid of those, right? Uh, herd immunity, well, I mean, that's not going to happen, obviously, because, you know, we have... It's all not going to happen virus, because so. people will have been exposed to different variants. And therefore, it, it's, you know, it, it's a family of viruses, yeah. you know, not, uh, not yeah. a single... But remember, Seems this was the final target. This was the end game of the vaccine, of the mass vaccination, is, is to have herd immunity, right? Sure. So you could, you could, of course, also, and I'm not the expert, but let's assume an antiviral would work. And this antiviral could even be things like uh, ivermectin. You, you don't hear me advocating for ivermectin, but let's assume some kind of antiviral drug would work. You could, you could imagine to treat also people with, with, with this antiviral, but doing this in a prophylactic way, you're going to have the same problem as with antibiotics, that some people you know, will have low concentration, be confronted with the virus, and uh, it will induce resistance, I think, uh, at the end. So you can use this for early treatment. That, that, I think, is very, very useful. But to get rid, really, of all these variants and to reduce the infectivity and control the whole thing, I really see no other way but to have a vaccine that induces, you can maybe explain this to the audience, sterilizing immunity, which is really to completely kill the virus, no matter, no, 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 no matter what the antigenic constellation is of the virus, whether it is a variant or not. So uh, maybe I don't know well enough to explain it to the audience. I'd like to understand better. I certainly see that there is a hazard um, a vaccine is not a vaccine, right? A vaccine is a very general technology. And in this case, the narrow targeting of the vaccine seems to me uh, it was a blessing in the sense that it allowed the vaccine to be generated very quickly, but it's a curse in the sense that it informs the immune system only about the one 
characteristic. And that if we were to use something like um, a an inactivated virus, that the immune system could discover various antigens and therefore the evolution of a single antigen would not create the kind of escape that we're seeing. But you, you tell me whether that adds up. No, no, it doesn't. I, I think it's a very logical reasoning, but unfortunately uh, it does not apply. The reason is if you target the S protein, what, what most of these vaccines do, you prevent, you can prevent the virus from entering into the cell. So that is basically, that is, that is sufficient. If, you know, um, the problem is if you, well, let me put it the other way around. Instead of an inactivated virus, a thing that might make sense, because by the way, that is the way we eradicated uh, like uh, smallpox. That's also the, uh, well, the biggest strides in the eradication of polio. Polio is not fully eradicated, but almost, eh? but the biggest strides we have made with the oral polio vaccine, which was also a life attenuated uh, vaccine. And there, of course, you induce uh, innate immune responses, as well as, of course, uh, adaptive immunity, etc. And that would be, I think, in my humble opinion, much more efficient. But of course, it would not be uh, a solution for people who have already been vaccinated. Because as I was saying, if you revaccinate them with the oral poly, uh, with, you know, with an, uh, let's say, an attenuated coronavirus, you're going to recall their original antibodies first, because they, those have memory. And there is something like we call this antigenic sin. If you are rechallenged, with an antigen that is similar to the one to which you got originally primed, then your original antibodies are going to be recalled. And those are not going to match with, with the variants. So you, you, you are going to even promote, again, immune escape if you re-vaccinate people who have previously vac been vaccinated with, with, with the current vaccines. But so, it may help for those who are seronegative. So attenuated. you're arguing... So the attenuated virus is one that functions to transmit between cells? Uh, that function to transmit, well, it, it's live attenuated, so it's going to be uh, secre ex excreted, uh, right, to some extent. Right. Yep. Uh, some people will say it was also the problem with, with oral polio, eh, that in, at the end of the day, you put this in the environment, it uh, gets again in people, it can recombine, etc. But uh, still, as we have seen with oral polio, it has dramatically, dramatically reduced uh, viral load. But my understanding is because of this antigenic sin that you could not use it in people who have already been pre-primed with, with the current vaccine. Right? So this is, this is yet another argument against the current regime, is that the current vaccine regime actually eliminates what might be our best weapon going forward because it will induce a kind of immunity that will react to uh, this alternative it, type of vaccine. This breath is something people need to understand in contrast to a drug. You have a drug, when that gets eliminated from your blood or you know you have the, 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 the half time of, of the, you need a minimum concentration for the drug to be active. If you are below that concentration, it doesn't work anymore. It's eliminated, and you're fine. It's done. You know there is no uh, there is no consequence, so to say. A vaccine is something that educates your immune system, for God's sake, for the rest of your life, right? So that is not a simple thing. That is something which has serious consequences. I mean, we were talking about the memory. What is memory? Well, memory means that if you see this antigen again or something alike, your antibodies, your original immune response will be recalled, right? Yes. And, and so that is a serious thing. I, I've been trying to, to call my audience's attention to this, that we are inherently intervening, not just in a complex system, right? Complex systems are tough enough, but you're you're intervening in a complex system within a complex system within a complex system, no, right? The narrowest one being the immune system, which you are educating, the immune system existing inside the body, which is itself an adaptive system, 
and then it exists inside a population. And so all of these things interact. And what they do is they mean that any action that you take because it sounds like the right thing to do risks creating a cascade of consequences you did not anticipate, this being one such consequence, that there is a tool that would take longer to develop that you will take off the table to the extent that you have educated people's immune systems such that effectively you've warned them about a pathogen, your next vaccine might be attenuated and effectively the immune system would have the equivalent of post-traumatic stress disorder where it would react to the attenuated vaccine, which is potentially life-saving. Um, it would react to it as if it were a pathogen and it would prevent the effectiveness. Is that what you're saying? Well, it will recall your original antibodies and these are the S antibodies uh, of the current vaccines, right? Which, uh, which we know... Uh, you know they uh, they they don't do the job essentially. Let's assume you you make this vaccine and you start vaccinating with it in half half a year from now. In the meantime, you will have further evolution, of course, of your variant. So they will even be more different the S protein uh, from the one that was originally in the vaccine. So now, when you recall the original antibodies in one in half a year from now, yeah, for sure they will match much less with 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 the s protein of the variants that will be circulating in half a year from now right so it's so it's further driving immune escape uh, basically mm -hmm.